Hey guys, good morning and happy Saturday. You guys are here with me, Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? That's me, that's me. You guys, we have two more days until Halloween. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that it's already here. It is mind boggling. Almost here. I can't believe this month went by so fast. It's so crazy. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a video today of me and my daughter. We did this spooky train in our city. It's so scary. It was definitely like Knott's Berry Farm, Universal Studios quality. The monsters were up in your face. They didn't touch you, but they were in your face and stuff like that. It was pretty scary. Oh, it was so scary. But we did do that last night. I have a little bit of a clip on that. I wanted to do more footage. Me and my daughter are not in the video, but we are in the thumbnail. I did get a couple pictures of us in the thumbnail, but not in the video. But I'm going to be sharing that part of the video first with you guys. And then I will be sharing just like a quick little, like last cupcake, last kind of like, because today's Saturday. The footage of us on the spooky train was from Friday, which was yesterday. Today is Saturday. This is the last weekend of October. Next Tuesday is Halloween. I will have like a cozy video for you guys on Halloween. I'll probably post it. Um, I'll probably post it uh, probably when I get home because I still want it to be on Halloween. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do dinner. It'll be like, I think I'm going to title it like Halloween with older children or something like that because um, we're just going to be going to dinner. My kids are 15 and 22, as you guys know. I've stated that before. Um, I'm going to be doing that video on Tuesday for Halloween, I'm going to say. We're pretty much going to dinner, kind of hanging out a little bit. Um, other than that, guys, I don't know, like... Woo, it's gonna be crazy, but um, today is Saturday. We're gonna just be doing chill, kind of like having a little party type vibe. You guys will see a little couple excerpts of like me watching some movies and a little bit of me. Um, we're gonna pick up pizza from Papa John's today. We're gonna do pizza today, wings. We're gonna do soda. We're gonna, I'm gonna make some cupcakes. So let me jump on in and show you guys the clip of the spooky train and then after that you guys will see a little bit of kind of like the cupcakes i'm going to be doing my last cupcakes are going to be influenced by one of my favorites jack and sally here's sally right here jack is in front of me i don't want to move him because my phone is holding up to do the video but oh my gosh i love 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 these guys i love them so much i love jack and sally and oogie boogie so i'm going to be doing some jack sally and oogie boogie inspired cupcakes i'll be doing the frosting is going to be white on all of them. I really didn't want to go through the efforts of making three different colored frostings. Just kind of don't feel like doing that. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, maybe I'm supposed to do that. It's my last cupcake of October. Maybe I should go all out. <sighs> I don't feel like it. So I'm probably going to do sprinkles. I'll probably do some blue sprinkles for Sally. Do some oogie boogie sprinkles. Maybe like some green or something for the colored rings that he came with. But um, let's go ahead and jump on into this video until next tuesday i'm hoping that you guys all had a wonderful october i do want to wish a lot of you guys a early happy amazing fun spooky and eventful memorable halloween it's probably the last time you guys will see my face until like next week or whenever i decide to pop back in because you guys know i typically don't show my face on the videos a lot but i try to come every once in a while but let's go ahead and jump into the quick little uh it's like a minute and 46 seconds of our train ride you guys can see some of the monsters and stuff like that and then after that, I'm going to kind of jump into um, what I'm going to be doing for my spooky cupcake. So until then, you guys have a good one. Bye.
pretty oh scary. Scaring the people in the line. <laughs> Beware, guys. <laughs> so, if you guys made it this far in my video, thank you guys for watching. You guys made it to the spooky tram. My daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, it was so scary. We were screaming. She took a video and it was like, most of it was in the dark because it was like all this like steam and you know how they do all the small, the smoke and smog and stuff like that. So we may go back tonight, you guys, but I'm telling you right now, I'm a chicken. I'm not looking forward to going tonight. It was really scary. Like when I say it was like horror, like amusement park style scares, it was scary. The last time we went, my daughter was literally in sixth grade. It was right before pandemic happened. We went, my husband, my daughter, and myself, my son didn't want to go with us that night. He stayed home. I think that was 2019 when he um, had graduated from high school. Then it was like 2020 when we went there. It was like so close. I always get that mixed up because I know like pandemic started in 2020, right? It hit. And uh, not started, but hit. You know what happened. Uh, but yeah, my son was out, fresh out of high school is what I'm basically saying. <laughs> like he was yelling. He was like, oh, I'm going with y'all. Y'all go ahead. But this was our second time going. Last time it had some little spooky characters and stuff like some girls dressed up you know, like little dolls and, you know, spooky stuff like that. But this year they had full fledged monsters. There was a guy walking around with a chainsaw. It was pretty scary. It was pretty scary. I didn't get as much footage, like I said, as I wanted to get because I did not want to drop my phone. They were jumping on the ends of the train. I know I said spooky tram on the video, but it was a spooky train. It's, it's a haunted, it's called a haunted train ride is what it's called. It's a haunted train ride. That is the name of this video. Haunted train ride and halloween party so that's what the name of this video is and i hope you guys enjoy it here's a couple things but i have to show you guys a couple other things that i got really lucky if you guys know me on my instagram at lock with leilani you guys can find me over there make sure that you guys go over and follow me on instagram as well because i'm in my stories every single day talking details showing you guys my finds you guys will see stuff over there before you get it over here most of the time um, I had not had any luck with ever finding any measuring cups in the stores. As you guys know, Ray Dunn has her measuring cups in TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls. I recently have found one set, I'm sorry, two sets of measuring cups at Marshalls by Ray Dunn. I found the Disney villain ones recently. You guys saw those on my hut shelf. If you guys did not watch my home Halloween decor video, make sure you guys go watch that tour video. It's really good. I think you guys will like it. I have a lot of like stuff going on and Madame Leota that is from the Haunted Mansion. She is hosting it. So you guys want to definitely go check that out. Um, another thing that I have that I found from there are these vegetable looking Ray Dunn ones. I will be sitting those out and doing a tear tray for November for Thanksgiving. My daughter's birthday is next month. So I will be doing that too. I'll share that with you guys once I put that together. I am going to be taking a lot of my Halloween decor down though. Boohoo, I'm not even upset about it, but I'm going to be taking down quite a bit of my Halloween decor throughout this weekend. I started some last week. I will be taking down everything right after um, Halloween on the 31st. Like hopefully by Friday, I'll have everything taken down. It really doesn't take that long. It's just boom, boom, boom. I just have to have containers. I was mixing around a lot of my containers. so I don't think that I have enough container space or room to put like my hut shelf items in and some of the other stuff that I bought. But I think I'm going to have to get like two long containers to get everything to fit in there. And then I will be leaving a little bit of fall out because I don't want to take everything completely out because my daughter's birthday is next month. And I still want to have some cutesy stuff out for her birthday. I don't want it to be like no decor in here. Like go from full-fledged decor from September and October to no decor in November. I don't want to do that. So I will be leaving some of the stuff up. I will be giving you guys like a quick little home tour um, for November just so you guys can see some of the stuff that I'm doing. I'll just be like a... Kind of like a decor decorating video type thing, but it'll be like quick. It won't be nothing really crazy because I did do a fall video first in September. Outdoor decor with all the pumpkins and my porch decor. If you guys can check that video out, definitely go check that one out with fall. I think a lot of people do it backwards. A lot of people do Halloween decor first and then fall, but technically fall hits before Halloween in October. So it just kind of depends on your preference, but I always decorate with fall first. Then I go into Halloween and then I go into like a harvest slash fall for November take all that stuff down and then go into December. So the end of the year is definitely very busy with like going back and forth with all the decor, having to go to my storage, grab everything. It's a lot. 
But back to the Ray Dunn measuring cup. So I was able to find a couple sets of Ray Dunn. I found a set of Bake Shop. If you guys have not heard of Bake Shop, Bake Shop has measuring cups as well that are sold in those same three stores. Have found a couple of those. And then I went to Home Goods yesterday and I was not expecting to find anything, but I did. I found these solid white measuring cups here. These are $14.99. If you buy these online on Mercari or something like that, one of the trading sites or the websites where you can people upsell and resell things, they can be sold as, you know, $40, $50, $60, $70 for different ones. I also found these Cinderella ones. I do have some other Cinderella ones, but they're a little bit different. And these are prettier because they have the little pour spouts, as you guys can see, and they have the blue all the way around them. These are the Disney uh, Ray Dunn measuring cups that are a part of the Disney um, Ray Dunn collections. And then these are the just the straight up white ones. I think there's like the matte ones. The other ones I have, they have little handles and they have like a nice little pour spout. Those are really amazing. And my friend here in YouTube world, Kelly All Day, did find those first ones for me. She actually found my very first set of measuring cups ever, ever, which were the ones with the pour spout, the all white ones with, I think those are the shiny ones or glossy ones. Super excited about getting those when she found those for me and sent those to me at the beginning of the year. I was super excited. Those are my first ones ever. And ever since then, I was like super slow and stagnant with finding them. And then I ended up finding some. I want to say maybe she even found those for me at the end of last year. I can't remember, but it's been a minute. But since then, I found like seven different sets of Ray Dunn measuring cups in the last like four or five months total. So I'm still finding stuff. I have not found anything for Halloween by Ray Dunn. I did find some pumpkin stackable measuring cups, but like some off brand, super cute. I had those on my tray recently. I don't think you guys saw those. I took them off of the tray, but I did find those um, recently, like two weeks ago. And then I also have not found any, like I said, I haven't found any Ray Dunn Halloween ones. I don't think that that part of the season is going to still happen. And then also I have not found any of the Christmas ones in the store. I did purchase the green Christmas with the white Christmas trees on them from Mercari. Paid about fifty dollars out the out the out the out the out the app off the off the hook. It was crazy. I paid fifty bucks for them. I did want them, so that's why I went ahead and did that. There are a couple other ones. I think Ray Dunn has right now like seven different Christmas measuring cups out. It's crazy. Like two snowman ones, a brown pair of gingerbread ones. She's got um, like two different Christmas tree ones. I think. Uh, snowman and then peppermint ones that everybody's going crazy for the peppermint ones are all red with little white peppermints they are so adorable and then she just came out with some white ones with little candy canes on them so it's like eight almost approaching 10 different measure cups for christmas so luckily right now i do have one set i did get a couple gingerbread ones from um i did get a couple gingerbread ones from uh, not a couple, but I got one set of gingerbread ones from Kohl's with the little spoons. Those are really adorable. I do have these over here on my table. Let me show you guys those. I think I probably showed you guys these on Instagram, but these are the ones that are from Kohl's. And you guys know they're ceramic, so you gotta be really careful with them. They are hand painted. They're so beautiful though. Look how cute these are. And you get four always with measuring cups. You get a full cup size, which is the biggest one. The second one that's in here is a half a cup. You get a third and then you get a fourth, which is the smallest. And then pretty much with the measuring spoons, you get one tablespoon, you get one teaspoon, you get a half a teaspoon, and then you get a fourth teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon, people say. I say a fourth, right? So that is pretty much what I have here. And uh, I did find more of these adorable sprinkles. I think I told you guys about that. Now this is kind of adding into the video, right? But these are the Walmart sprinkles. That I found, if you guys remember for fall, I did find some cute ones like pumpkin spice and salted caramel and stuff. These are from Walmart and these are like, um, I think they're $2.97 for the smaller ones. And then like I have the bigger one that's like frosty is like $3.97. But this frosty one is basically, it's adorable, right? It has like the paper on here and it's by great value. If you guys go to Walmart, these items should be like in the center of the store on like a little, uh, like a little shelf. They have a bunch of different cake mixes. They have like a hot cocoa pancake mix. They have a green cookie mix. I'll show you two more of those items too. Now I'm kind of going off into something else, right? But um, I may as well show it to you guys since I was right here. I was like, let me just show you guys. But yeah, these are the sprinkles for Frosty. You just get like all different kind of colors of blues in there. And then over here, you get the Christmas tree one. This one has a cute little Christmas tree on top. Aren't these darling? And then you get the snowflake one here. 
And then this one is probably my favorite because of the pink, because pink is my favorite color. This one is basically the lights and it has all those bright green colors in there. And then you also get, this is a peppermint hot cocoa topper. They don't give you a bunch of hot cocoa toppers. There are like dry little marshmallows in there. So that's kind of cool. And then you get this adorable little baby looking reindeer. He's cute. Look at the little candies in there. And then uh, this one is a Santa hat sprinkle mix. And these are adorable. So I have all of those. There's a bunch of other ones too. I pretty much bought all the ones that had toppers. But there's other ones too, like there's sanding sugar, there's different colors, sanding sugar for your baking needs, cookie needs, and all that good stuff. So, anywho, these are the ones that I did pick up. Let me go ahead and show you guys some of the other stuff that I have over here, and then I'm going to get into the baking, and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to do for baking, and then I'll just kind of share with you guys like little bits of my day. So, this one right here is also by Great Value. This is the brand at Walmart that has all the amazing items. I was told that they have those sprinkles for Valentine's Day and also Easter. This is new for me. I started off with fall and Halloween. So that's where I started with the sprinkles. So now I have the Christmas ones, which I'm really excited about. But here is holiday value. It's kind of dark in here. Let me see if I can get a little light. There we go. Um, holiday, who stole Christmas cookie mix, right? So basically like the Grinch. These are basically like Grinch cookies. And then I also picked up this one. I thought this was adorable. I saw some generic peppermint crumble in the grocery store. And, um, not grocery store, I'm sorry, um, home goods. And I didn't like the way it looked. I was like, ugh, but this one looks so nice. Like, look at this. This is, um, naturally flavored peppermint crumble. I really love this. This is perfect to throw in your hot cocoa, any type of baked goods and things like that. It does have a resealable pouch, which is really nice because look at that. That packaging is everything. And I did find the Ray Dunn Frosty the Snowman mug, topper mug this year. So that's going to be cute with that. And then, like I said, the cookie mix, I did pick up the uh, Funfetti. They have a hot cocoa mix um, cookie mix this year. I have to show that to you guys in another video. And that's kind of cool, right? Because I always get the Funfetti cake mix for the different holidays. But I don't recall ever getting a cookie mix. But they have that at Walmart. And then they have some other brands, too, of, like, different types of waffles and stuff like that. Um, I did get some Elf Syrup by Aunt Jemima. They have some syrup with the packaging for Elf the movie. They have some elf confetti uh, mixed to make pancakes and stuff too. So I'll be showing, sharing all this stuff with you guys at a later day, probably like in my um, my Christmas inventory video. And then you guys will be seeing all that kind of stuff for the 25 days of Christmas as well. The more and more I think about it, I'm going to probably do a 25 days of Christmas. It's going to be interesting, but it's still going to be something that I'll do. So this one right here, you, they say you're going to need some parchment paper, six tablespoons of unsalted um sweet cream butter melted okay um over here you're gonna need the holiday okay so the cookie mix and then you're gonna need two uh eggs and it says great value eggs they want you to use all great out value stuff now the only thing on here that's kind of getting me is that they want you to use the unsalted sweet cream butter so sweet cream butter hmm that's interesting right so i don't know i may have to go back to walmart and get some sweet cream butter because I just have the salted butter. Usually when a recipe says unsalted, I still use my salted butter for everything and it definitely still works out. As you guys can see over here, I did take a lot of my Halloween down. You guys remember the ghost was right here. The ghost picture from Target this year was right here. I moved it, put the Hello Pumpkin back for November, slowly kind of going into, you know, some of my um, fall items here. And then I do have the uh, mug cookie toppers in here. This is my little pumpkin jar from Target Bullseye last year. It was super sought after, but I have in here, my husband's been jamming on these cookies. These are basically like these caramelized cookies. They look like and smell like gingerbread, but they are not good, you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now from Aldi, these cookies do not taste good. My husband liked them because they're real crunchy and they got the little sugar with the texture, but these cookies are not good. I'm not gonna even lie to you, but I put them in here and I took out the mellow kind of like candy corn type of candy pumpkins. I wanted to kind of do something more neutral. So those cookies were good. I to go in there and I thought they were going to taste good but I didn't like them so my kids have not tried them yet so over here back to the stuff that we have you guys saw I found the measuring cups yesterday yay I'm excited about that but what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be baking my cupcakes you guys will see just kind of like a little snippet of maybe me putting them in the oven taking them out the oven frosting them a little bit I have to get my piping bag and all the stuff to actually make the cupcakes but I'm going to be doing the French vanilla cake mix. You guys know there's pudding in the mix. I love this mix so much. I'm going to be doing the vanilla frosting. 
I was going to go through like coloring the frosting, like blue for Sally, this for that, that for that. But as you guys can see, like Sally barely has any blue on her. Oogie Boogie is kind of like that greenish yellow color. Um, and then Jack is just white. I don't really feel like doing no crazy, crazy decor. I was going to get some fake candy worms and put that on Oogie Boogie's. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Sally, I was going to make her cupcakes blue. And then Jack, I was going to put some little sugar crystals in black. I'm not doing all that, you guys. I'm so tired. It's been a long month. I'm just going to make it simple for myself. Maybe next year I'll do something like that and go all out. I think that'll be a good like thing to look forward to. But this year, I think instead of me even telling you guys in the beginning of the video that I was going to do colors that contrast with them, I'm not. I'm just going to do, these are from last year. These are by Hide and Eek from the Target Seasonal at Target. In the back of the store, these are called Toil and Trouble Sprinkles. These are like the non perials And when you learn how to bake, you learn all the different names and stuff. non perials are basically the little circle dot, you know, sprinkles. So the non perials I'm going to be using those. Those are going to go on the cupcakes on top of the white frosting with the rings. If you guys are familiar with rings, these are so old school. I'm like Asia myself. I'm 45. But back in the day, we used to have rings on our cupcakes. So I found these online. I have some pumpkin ones rings too that I'm going to be doing next month in November because I never made that pumpkin cupcake with the cream cheese frosting for September like I had planned on doing. So I'm going to do that in November. So stay tuned for that. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in to just like this chill day. The rest of the video will just be kind of chill. It'll just be like a few more minutes of the video. So if you guys made it this far, thanks for watching. I just wanted to come on chat with you guys, kind of chat it up a couple days before Halloween and, you know, just share kind of a cozy vibe of me just going out and, and picking up some things and doing some stuff to just kind of have like a relaxing kind of like little party with my older children. My son's off today. My husband's working. My daughter's here. Obviously, it's Saturday. And I'm just going to share with you guys just a little bit of what I'm doing today and uh, just kind of getting ready for the holiday. And, you know, I'll probably be watching some Christmas movies today, too. Kind of like a Christmas movie slash Halloween movie. Just kind of chilling today. So I definitely would like you guys to come along. So let's go. Let's let's go ahead and get this day going. Okay, guys. So I came over here to Walmart. I had to pick up a couple things for packaging to mail off some items to a friend, but Walmart has a whole bunch of Christmas stuff, you guys. They have these old school, these are by Holiday Time, and you have the Grinch right here, you have this little gingerbread house. I think these are, I think they're like $40. The Blow Mold Grinch is $44. Um, the gingerbread house is 58. The church, which is right there, is 49 the christmas nutcracker is 45 so they're like in the 40s some this one doesn't have a little nose on there i don't know what's up with that and then up here they have the grinch this is pretty cool up here i like those those are pretty neat they have a bunch of different things in here look at that gnome up there and then you have that over here i decided to kind of stop in here before i go and pick my pizza up so yeah so let's go ahead and go and get that pizza and get back to my car So what I'm actually doing with this particular pumpkin, I'm going to actually paint it like an actual candy corn. Just had our pizza lunch and here's a piece of candy corn. So I'm going to do white at the top and then a big amount of orange all the way down. And then I'm going to put some yellow on the bottom. So I did add a little glitter to the top just to kind of give it a little bit more, you know, kind of pizzazz. But I'm going to do orange mainly going down the pumpkin and then i'm going to do a little bit of yellow on the very top so here is the other pumpkin that i have and this one is a pink one i did like a hot pink pumpkin i'm thinking i'm going to do like some white ghosts with little black eyes on there but we'll see how that turns out i don't know how that's going to look but i'm just trying to do my best i have a bunch of stuff right here this is real life and then i have this pumpkin over here it's starting to dry so as it dries, like it looks like it needs more layers of orange. I don't know if I want to go back in and like repaint it. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but it might dry. I think it'll dry pretty smooth once it does dry. So it'll probably be okay. So I'm probably just going to leave it like it is because I think once it like dries out and stuff, it'll probably be okay. So that's pretty much what I've got going on right now. And then after these dry a little bit more, I'm going to put them outside in the front, both of them. And then I am going to get my cupcakes going it is right now almost three o'clock. We had pizza. I went to Walmart, ended up getting some more Christmas lights. My son opened them up to see how bright they were. And so um, I have those going. Um, what else? He tried those. He's now in his room. My daughter's in her room. So I'm on my own. So I was playing some Halloween music, but I stopped the music so I could come back and show you guys what I was working on. 
I'm probably gonna go in with some more orange paint after all because I feel like I could probably smooth this out a little so bit. I have this pumpkin all painted. I did that hot pink. I did the ghost on there. My daughter's telling me I should let it dry a little bit better so it can look a little bit cleaner. I agree, but uh, the struggle is real, right? I'm just trying to get done. I'm gonna put the pumpkin facing the street so people can see it this way. <laughs> I feel like the ghosts look better this way. So this is just kind of how it's gonna be. And I kind of like the way it looks in a way. I mean, it kind of looks like the, the art was done that way where it looks kind of sketchy and blotchy. So we're gonna go with it. So let's go ahead and get these outdoors. Okay guys, so here we are at the part where I'm actually mixing up my cupcake mix. So basically I decided to go ahead and color the frosting for Oogie Boogie and for Sally. I feel like these are my last cupcakes for October. So I just want to show you guys and tell you guys what I'm doing. So I'm doing the French vanilla cupcake mix because that is my absolute favorite. I'm not going to do the funfetti, the orange one or the chocolate one because I just never got around to it this month. I was making other options and that's what I chose to do. So I did not use those. I don't know. I'll still probably use them at a later date for something else. But um, I'm basically doing the French vanilla. I'm doing the vanilla frosting. So for Jack, I'm going to leave the vanilla frosting white, but I'm going to put some of the pumpkin town kind of colors of orange and black as sprinkles on his cupcake. I'm only going to do like, I think eight cupcakes. So it'll be like, um, it'll be, you know, a couple of each. It'll be like, cause I have, um, it'll be like three Jacks. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do three Jacks and three Sally's. That'll be six and then two Oogie Boogies, and then I'll put them on a plate like that. So Jack is gonna be just white frosting, like I said. I'm gonna put his ring on there, and then I'm gonna put the sprinkles on there last. And then Sally is gonna be blue frosting. So what I'm gonna do is take the white frosting, and I'm gonna divide it in half. I'm gonna make half of it blue, and then half of it white. And I'm gonna put that on the cupcakes. And then for the Funfetti, which is the green frosting, I'm deciding to use the Funfetti frosting. I'm gonna get rid of the eyeball sprinkles. I'm gonna use some of the colorful sprinkles that are in there for Oogie Boogie's cupcake. And then for Sally, I have some of these mini heart sprinkles that are super cute. Those are red from Favorite Day from the Valentine's Seasonal at Target this year in our past months of February of 2023 this year. But I'm going to be using some of the red hearts that are going to symbolize basically the color of her hair, which is red. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I did buy this 96 pack of cupcake liners by Great Value. It's just a basic kind of cupcake liner for these cupcakes because I want... The cupcakes to stand out as far as the rings and also the colors of the, the frosting and of course the sprinkles and stuff. So I don't want to take away from it by using like a fancy cupcake liner, design, color, nothing like that, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas theme or nothing. So right now I have all my stuff mixed in together, my milks in here, my eggs in here. And I also have my almond extract and my vanilla. I'm going to mix that in. My pan is over here ready to go. I'm about to put the pizzas up. So kind of just getting along through the day. It is 3.30. So I'm hoping to sit down a little bit because I'm really starting to feel tired. I went out, ran some errands and stuff, and I'm here. So I want to sit down. I want to kind of indulge to some Christmas movies. But I also want to watch a spooky movie before the night is up. And then I still have tomorrow, which is Sunday. But I do want to upload this video for you guys today. So I'm hoping to get done with these cupcakes in the next hour, decorate them, and then I can put the video up because I do want to share with you guys this video today to give you guys some inspiration, some motivation, and just give you guys like a happy video to be able to watch before the close of the weekend. So if you guys have started baking, um, started this weekend baking with like some Halloween stuff, if you guys are painting pumpkins like me, whatever you guys are doing this weekend to kind of like celebrate the last couple days before Halloween, definitely let me know down in the comments comments what you guys are actually you know planning to do for the last couple days also if you have plans for Halloween let me know if you have older children or if you don't have children like how do you celebrate Halloween do you usually go somewhere do you just like bypass the whole holiday do you have a party at your house every year are you going to a Halloween party that would be really cool I've never gone to an actual like adult Halloween party I have been to a kid's Halloween party when my son was little it's like a co-worker of my husband's a long time ago long time ago my son was like maybe four three or four years old he was scooby-doo he hated that costume too it was like a cute costume we had the scooby-doo head and all that and he was so irritated with that costume but it was adorable you know how parents are we're like this is cute you gotta wear it but he did not like it so anywho i hope that you guys are enjoying the video thus far and if you guys have made it this far then you guys are already watching it of course right that's what i said Hope you guys enjoy the video. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit over, maybe 30 minutes-ish video. If you guys are still watching, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get this uh, cupcake all mix all mixed up so I can get the frosting together. Show you guys a little bit of the, me frosting the cupcakes, each one. 
putting some sprinkles on there and then sitting it all together on the plate. And then that's our dessert for today. Then we'll have leftovers for pizza as well. Yay, I don't have to cook tonight. But tomorrow I will make the tostadas and I might do some cinnamon rolls for breakfast tomorrow. Maybe put some uh, festive kind of Halloween sprinkles and stuff on there. Um, you guys may or may not see that in another video coming up before Halloween. But yes, so let's go ahead and let's get this going. Okay guys, so here are the nine cupcakes that are going in the oven. So I'm gonna be doing three as Jack, three as Sally, and three as Oogie Boogie. I'm gonna bypass doing 12 because um, my husband's not here and, hold on. <laughs> my husband's not here and I just feel like I don't need to make that many cupcakes. So these are going in the oven. So I will see you guys when they are all done. And okay guys, so here are the nine cupcakes that are going in the oven. So I'm gonna be doing three as Jack, three as Sally, and three as Oogie Boogie. I'm gonna bypass doing 12 because um, my husband's not here and, hold on. <laughs> my husband's not here and I just feel like I don't need to make that many cupcakes. So these are going in the oven. So I will see you guys when they are all done. Okay, so the cupcakes are all done. I'm just waiting for them to cool off. They should be almost cool. Um, the other definitely getting there. They'll be cool like in another probably like five minutes. And then once they're all cool, I'm gonna take those and sit them on my plate. And then I'm gonna start decorating them, put some sprinkles on them, put the rings on them, and I'll be all done. So this is how the cupcakes are looking. It's a little bittersweet. These are my last cupcakes for Halloween. I decided to go ahead and do the three colors. I've never actually done three colors before and I'm using three different tips. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I'm using three different tips on these cupcakes as well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the, um, the sprinkles that I have. So you guys remember I'm doing this Toil and Trouble. I'm gonna be doing this one on the white cupcakes. So I'm just gonna go around the white cupcakes with this one. All the white cups or cupcakes are gonna get this one. And I'm gonna save one for Instagram because I like to share a little bit of what I'm doing on Instagram. So I'll save one of each for Instagram. And then basically the Oogie Boogie ones are gonna get these um, Funfetti ones that came with the green frosting. So I'm gonna decorate two of those. So I'm just gonna pretty much add all of that on here because I'm making an Instagram video at the same time as I'm making this video for you guys and then for the Sally cupcakes she's gonna get the red for her red hair so it's like symbolizes her red hair so I'm gonna do that over here I always end up on my stove doing my cupcakes I don't know why it's like that but I end up always decorating my cupcakes on my stove which is really crazy but <laughs> it's all good but yeah so this is how they're looking and then um, I'm gonna grab some rings and add those to the cupcakes and I'll be all done, guys. These came out really good. I'm really excited about how they turned so out. I have already started kind of decorating these cupcakes. You guys can see how they look. They look super freaking cute with the little rings on them. The rings are just the way to go. If you guys have never done any of your cupcakes with rings, I definitely recommend that you try. Um, it's just old school and you know, they just look so cute. I just put Sally's on there. I did a couple of them for Instagram. I'm kind of going back and forth and then here's Jack, putting Jack's ring on there. These are Disney rings and then Oogie Boogie to finish it off in the center. These are all done. So these look so good. They look so professional. They look like they're ready to be packaged for someone's birthday, Halloween celebration, just because they're nightmare before Christmas lovers. These turned out so great. I hope you guys enjoy them and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm sure I will talk to you guys on Halloween or either the day before I'll kind of share a video of what I did for Halloween. But I want to tell you guys, I hope that you guys all had a wonderful October. I hope that you guys did something fun this weekend. This video will be uploaded on Saturday, so I'm about to upload it right now. <laughs> you guys should see this before the end of the weekend. De definitely let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the cupcakes. If you guys had any plans, last minute things that you're doing for the month of October. I just want to share this with you guys. It was really special. As you guys know, I love to bake. I love to make cupcakes. Sometimes my cupcakes don't come out that great. Other times they are adorable. I'm obsessed with these. I think they turned out really good. Give you guys a little close up of these. They look really, really nice. Really love how they turned out. They're super simple. Don't be intimidated by baking. Baking can be whatever you want it to be. 
it does not have to be difficult. It can be difficult if you let it be something that's difficult for you, but you don't have to let it be something difficult. If you take your time and you just, you know, figure things out, it takes time. I'm not a perfect baker. Again, I'm not a professional baker at all, but I do enjoy baking. So sometimes when you just enjoy something, you just, you know, you take your time. There's no perfect, you know, there's no wrong or right way to decorate or to bake your cupcakes or anything else that you might be baking. We're going to all mess up from time to time. And that's okay. Why? Because we're human, right? So I just wanted to share these with you guys. I hope that you guys got some inspiration for the holiday, um, for Halloween next week. I hope that you guys got some inspiration for, you know, just, just bringing in the holiday in a positive way. Until the next video, once again, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another video. And until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.